The folder. Oh, the folder's in the book. That's good. That's a good place for the folder to be. Well, dang, that's all we got in the folder. We need to add some new stuff in the folder. Don't we? Yeah, so we talked about fours and twos, right? Yeah. Cool. Did we talk about what we can do with the twos? What's one thing we can do with the twos? We need to lower this for you, bud. You want your legs to be on the outside of each snare. So, kind of like that, yeah. There we go. So what we can do with the twos is uh, something called a plant. Let me get some sticks. Yeah, basically, but you want to flam those. Flat boom. So flam one stroke right after the other. Good. So there's really two parts to it, okay? Let's talk about the two parts. The first part is this hand's higher than this hand. Then the next part is this the grace note comes before the primary note. Yeah, you hear how you're getting it sometimes? Flat. Good! And it's flat. Boom, boom. Where's our sound? Where are I? Play that again for me. Let me see what's going on here. What's going on with this drum set? Alright, do that again for me. And if you want to, see at the very end, what you're actually playing is one and two and three and four and one. So you can do two bass drums at the end. Four and one. You can try to do two bass drums at the end if you want. And one. So try it all. Try everything. Flat um, do um, da um, da um, um. Together. Boom. 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 It's weird. You don't have to do that. I'm saying you can do that. So let, let's hear the difference. Flat boom, 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 boom. And. It fills it out more. Oh no. It's alright. Don't worry about it. It's cool. Uh, you don't have to have that in there anyway. That's just uh, an option. Now what I'm saying though is, instead of doing twos... Yeah, we need our real drum sound. Instead of doing it on twos... Twos are great. Okay? But put... Flam bass. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you play twos, they look like this. Okay? All I'm saying is instead of that, you can play, you can substitute. What I mean by substitute. We're talking about fills here, okay? So instead of two notes on the snare, you can substitute it for flam bass. Let me show you. We're getting all kinds of confused. Let me see. So we're talking about fills, okay? So no, none of this action, because this is groove action. Okay, this is grooving. There's nothing wrong with grooving. This is fills, right? So we're talking about fills right now. So we're focusing on this. Now with twos, those are twos, right? I'm playing two notes on one drum, and I'm going one and. Instead of playing, you can play because it's the same rhythm. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, that's the cool thing about drum set. You can substitute different rhythms. Well, I don't, I don't need to explain it. More than that. 
two. Okay, so in other words, whenever you want to do this with your hands, you can do that instead. So say you play this fiddle. Two, four, two, four. Well, you can go. Yeah, you don't want to do a flame right there. So I did the, I substituted the first one for a flame bass. It's still an idea in two though. It just changes the sound from, from that, right? It changes the sound from this to this. So, before you do any flames, I just want you to play two, four, two, four. Eight notes, sixteen notes, eight notes, sixteen notes. Okay, now, well, instead of playing that first da da, I want you to play flat boom. Now, you're going to continue the fill the same way you did before, but cleaner than that. Flat boom, dugga dugga do, do, dugga dugga. Good, good. Let's get back to grooves. So we were practicing, I heard you playing in the beginning of the, of the lesson, I heard you playing a groove that we've been trying to learn. Yeah, let's do some of this. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the two measure exercises and then try to play a fill at the end of it. So let's take that fill we just learned and let's put it at the end of uh, number two here. Boom, boom, chop. Oh, you played one. All right, play one. So what you do when you play a fill is you think about what? What do you think about in your head? You tell me. That's good, the tempo, right? But the trick is you think about the hi-hat. If you think about the hi-hat while you do your fill, Yeah, eight notes are boring, right? Try that. Good, so it's this tempo. We don't need to worry about what that is. We can just call that 2-4, two, 2-4, four, two, four. okay? Now we're gonna put that at the end of this one. Boom, doom, cha. Boom, doom, cha. Boom, doom, cha. Boom, doom, doom, cha. Cha, cha, digga, digga, doom, doom, digga, digga, boom, doom, cha. Okay, we're gonna try to put all that together. Cool, cha. So we got a little confused on the last part, right? This is doom, doom, chat, doom, 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 chat. Play that measure. Good. Yeah, you don't have to play the exact fill I said. Yeah, good. That's, that's the whole purpose of, uh, well, not the whole purpose. A part of a purpose of a fill is to kind of put your own thing into it, right? Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. Cool, cool stuff. So try the second one. Doom, doom, chat. Doom, doom, chat. 